uh, we'll see some different type of examples. So here is the first example which says we have to prove that cos of 38 into cos of 52 minus sine of 38 sine of 52 is equals to 0. This we have to prove. Now how to proceed? We don't know the values of 38 degrees and 52 degrees. If we had known the values, we could have put the values in these and we, have, we could prove that left side is left hand side is equals to 0. But we don't know the values of 38 degrees and 52 degrees. But if you look closely, 38 and 52 are complementary to each other. That means this trigonometric function cos 38 cos 52 can be converted to their complementary trigonometric function. How can we do that? Let's write this 52 in its complementary angle and this 52 in its complementary angle. So we can write cos 38 into cos now can you tell me what is the complementary angle of 52 degrees just subtract this 52 from 90 degrees we'll get 38 degrees so we can write down cos of 90 degrees minus 38 degrees this can be written easily similarly we'll do the same thing for sin 52 as well this will be sine 38 and this will be sine of 90 minus 38 now we can change this cos into its complementary trigonometric function that is sine because the angle is written in the format of 90 minus that angle so this will be this will be converted into sine of 38 degrees so we can write down this will be cos of 38 into this will be converted into sine and 38 degrees so this will change into sine of 38 degrees minus this will remain same sine 38 into and the complementary of sine is cos so this will be converted into cos of 38 degrees so we can write cos of 38 degrees now if you see this is cos 38 into sin 38 and this is sin 38 into cos 38 so these two are equal and if we subtract these two we will get zero so these two will get cancelled out and what will remain will be zero so in the left hand side we had got 0 and in the right hand side we had 0 before only so we had proved that LHS is equals to RHS hence we had proven by changing these ratios trigonometric ratios into their complementary trigonometric ratio so let's move to a last example of complementary angles so here is the last example which say that ABC are interior angles of triangle ABC then we have to prove that sine of B plus C by 2 is equal to cos of A by 2. If you look at what we have to prove you can see that this on left hand side is complementary of this trigonometric function sine is complementary of cos. So if we somehow change this angle B plus C by 2 in terms of 90 degrees minus its complementary function then this sign will be converted into cos. So all we have to do is find the complementary function of B plus C by 2 and we are also given that ABC are interior angles of triangle ABC. So if that is the case if A and A, B, C are interior angles of triangle A, B, C, we can write down that their sum A plus B plus C 
is equals to 180 degrees. This we can say since the sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Now we have to break this B plus C by 2 into its complementary angle. So let's find out its complementary angle. Now if you look at this, I can find out the value of B plus C. B plus C will be equals to 180 degrees minus A and we have to find the value of B plus C by 2. So divided by divide both left hand side and right hand side by 2. What will you get? You will get B plus C by 2 is equals to if we divide this by 2 what we will get? 180 by 2 will be 90 degrees and this will be minus A by 2. So this will become 90 degrees minus A by 2. Now if you look at this equation which we have got P plus C by 2 is equals to 90 degrees minus A by 2. So can I say that B plus C by 2 and A by 2 are complementary angles? Because B plus C by 2 is equals to 90 degrees minus A by 2. And we had learned earlier that if we subtract any angle from 90 degrees, then that angle is the complementary of a previous angle. So B plus C is the complementary angle of, sorry, B plus C by 2 is the complementary angle of A by 2. So we can replace sine B plus C by 2 by 90 minus A by 2. So this can be written as LHS can be written as sine of 90 minus A by 2. So we had broken this B plus C by 2 into 90 minus its complementary angle. Now we can easily change sine into its complementary function that is cos. So this will become as cos of 90 will go and A by 2 will remain. So this will become as cos A by 2 and this is our RHS if you see. So this is RHS. So we had proven that sine of B plus C by 2 is equal to cos of A by 2. How we had proceeded? We had change this b plus c by 2 into its complementary function because the complementary of sine was cos. Hence, if we somehow change this into its complementary function, this sine will be converted into cos. So we had first find out the complementary function of b plus c by 2 and then put it into the LHS and then calculated that this is equal to cos of a by 2. So this is how we solve the questions on complementary angles of different trigonometric ratios.